Hi, my name is Sharice. I go online by the name of Denkai from DenkaiDesigns.com. Welcome to my FlossTube channel. Uh, I've no idea what FlossTube number this is. I, I kind of lose track. <laughs> I do know that this one is quite late, as they always are. I always seem to be really late, so I do apologise to people who are like, why haven't you done one already? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, a few days late. But I have I've been really busy. I have stitchy retreats. Uh, that I've been to so first one was the Yorkshire Stitcher Retreat that is in Bradford um that was really nice just kind of like mainly like Yorkshire lasses and stuff <laughs> um yeah that was fun um I mainly just did Bluebird's Princess oh my god 12 hours on one-to-one -one skin Ugh. but I had it had to be done because you know she was armless <laughs> No, literally, she had no arm, so. <laughs> so, yeah, so we sort, we sorted that out. She's got one arm now, but, yeah, so that's Yorkshire Stitch Retreat. Um, I also went to the Mirabilia Stitch Retreat, which I, I love Mirabilia. It's like, you know, I'm kind of like um fairy, mermaid, all the, the queens, the dresses. I just absolutely adore Mirabilia, so that was, like, one of my favourite retreats to get together with, like, as a mirror lovers and stuff and yeah it was great um had fun on that uh it's my birthday yesterday so we've also had birthday celebrations and birthday cake and treats and stuff got my nails done <laughs> well i don't really get there's like that one nail that's like kind of long and the rest are like little short things but they look kind of cool and if you can see i don't know if it's focused but it's like black with like little red shimmers in so, I love my nails, a manicure treat. <laughs> so that was nice. Um, and today I have been massively busy because, drum roll, going on holiday. I've got, um, well, yesterday, well, yesterday, last year, it was my mum's 60th birthday. Um, and as some of you know, I think I've said before, she had a stroke, so she's in a wheelchair. Um, she can kind of walk around a little bit with her stick, but she's got kind of weakness in her left side. I just figured out. Do the robot. Do the robot. So she's got weakness in her left side, so she can kind of get around with a stick and stuff on her right. Oh, sorry, if there's movement in the background, that's Eden. Say hello, Eden. Hello. <laughs> He literally won't leave my side. I don't know why. He's so clingy. I think it's school holidays. Either that or he knows I'm going on holiday. And he's like, don't go, mommy. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> get a break. <laughs> anyway, story. Sorry. Sidetracked. Um, yes, it's mum, was mum's 60th birthday. She had a stroke. So obviously she's in a wheelchair and things. And we thought, well, we'll treat her, you know. Um, we had, Mike had a bit of inheritance money. And he's like, you know, take your mum somewhere nice for a 60th. So I was like, okay, <laughs> um, yes, let's do that. Uh, but we went and I thought, well, we'll get like a last minute cruise for her because she absolutely adores going on cruise ships and stuff. I think it's mainly the buffet that does it. She loves the buffet. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, we tried to get like a last minute thing around the time of her birthday and stuff. Could not get one at all. I think it's because there's very limited kind of ships with disabled access and disabled dreams and adaptations and things. So you, and this, they, they go out so fast. So obviously they're not kind of meeting the supply and demand kind of thing. Um, but anyway, we, so we booked like a year in advance. So we're going tomorrow for her birthdayth present her 60th birthday present which was last year so yeah but we're all excited there's me and my mum we're sharing a room and my sister and my niece are going as well my niece is two she's two on sunday or today's friday so she's two in, like in two days into the cruise and stuff oh and she's got the cutest little outfit for like a little swim outfit and Anyway, we're real excited <laughs> and we're all packed, so everything's good. <laughs> um, so anyway, I thought, right, I'm going to go away for another week and I literally can't leave it to like the end of April for have like two months, you know, because I've done quite a bit of stitching uh, and I wanted to show you guys. So I thought, right, I'll try and bang out a quick floss you video and update you all and stuff. Um, so, OK, let's get going with whips. Uh, that one is a new start, so I will save that one. Uh, yes, I did say, didn't I? I was going to do some kind of like rotation system and things. Um, kind of worked. One of the ones that I was going to do was I had a haid going, the geisha, geisha, geisha. Mm. Um, I've got that here. I'll show you it. 
Um, so I was doing that <laughs> covered with the what do you call those things? Pillowcases, that's what you call them. So anyway, my, this is my geisha. Geisha. I have done a row. I'm sorry, a row. But there we go. Done a row. Look at that smiley face. Flower. Yeah. yeah, smiling at my project. So we've done a, a row. But I've done it in such a way that the only thing that's kind of outstanding is all one colour. So that's kind of nice to kind of leave it, oh, I need my drink, to leave it at a point where I just have to like zoom, zip across with one colour. I can't remember whether I, this was a, no, this, I was doing a hage, but then I was also kind of partnering it with something else, wasn't I? Um, um, one of the ones I wanted to do was... I want to say BYOB, <laughs> bring your own bottle, but it wasn't. It was by your own hands, I think it was. Um, it's a Russian company, and they do a lot of like black uh, fabric and then loads of colours on top of the black fabric. It's really good, really nice effect. Um, and I can't find it. I found like the fabric and I found all the floss and everything. I can't find the chart. <laughs> I know it's a problem. <laughs> uh, normally I have the chart and I'll photocopy it, enlarging it from A4 to A3 because you know I like to like mark things off and I don't like squinting at the little tiny squares. Um, so anyway, I enlarged it all and I was there one night kind of sellotaping this chart all together. This thing literally covered my entire kitchen table. It's like a quite a big country kitchen table kind of thing. So. Yeah, you guys see my bingo wings, bingo. Anyway, <laughs> whoa, I'm really sidetracked today. I must have been the chocolate I ate. It's kind of like sugar high. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so I can't find the chart. This thing is massive, although I did fold it up, obviously. Um, but I can't find it. I can't find the original. I can't find the one I photocopied to mark off. It will be somewhere. I will have put it somewhere safe. So safe, I can't find it. So if I... Sorry, squeaky chair. Oh no, flower. So if I can't find it, um, I will try and either start another aid or just kind of double down on the, the projects that I've got. And there's quite a few I've got outstanding. Let me just put this down. You stay there. Right, what else have we got? We've got Bluebeard's Princess. I'll show you the peacock. I'll show you my peacock. My peacock. Cock, cock. <laughs> you can blame Maggie Titchener for that. Maggie, if you're watching, you're incorrigible because we're at the dinner table and obviously we're talking about peacocks and I said peacock quite a lot and uh, yeah, and then she started playing Katy Perry peacock. So now I can't just say peacock. I have to go, my peacock. Cock, cock. Peacock, cock. So anyway, really sidetracked. Let me get this on some kind of background for you so you don't see right through it. This is the gorgeous peacock we're on about. It is Alessandra Adelaide Needleworks. Uh, she is based in Australia, I think. Yeah, Australia. And that is almost finished. That, everything from like that point down is what I've done this month. Yes, yes, I did all that stitching. That was me. A lot of progress on this, so I'm really pleased. And it's so swirly and twirly. And we've literally got the little feathers to fill in. Um, and a few of the little bumpy stuff at the ends, like those little bits. And the feathers. And then she's done. And oh my god, she's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. This fabric is Iolite by Chromatic Alchemy. And I love it. I just think it goes so well with it. I have stitched this on 32 count, even weave. I like even weave. Um, so yeah, that is that. What do you think of Mummy's Peacock? You like it? Yes, it does. It's beautiful. That is a beautiful peacock. So that is that. I'm um, loving it. So I don't know what, this is on the rotation to kind of wait a month and then do it like the month after. But I don't know if I can wait that long for finish because I'm so close. <laughs> so 
I'm so close on that. Right, next I have... Where have you gone? Where have you gone? <laughs> Not you, monkey. I'm right on it. Bluebeard's Princess. This is the one that took me 12 hours. <laughs> 12 hours. There we go, put something behind it. 12 hours to do that arm. <laughs> you can't see how I'm, I'm showing my, my cross stitch stuff, darling. So that is Bluebeard's Princess. I will get you the picture of what it should look like. Let me try and find it one handed. But I could have sworn I had it out already. I'm going to need that one. Oh, Mike, can you show a picture of Bluebird's Princess, please? Bing. Thank you. Bing. Thank you. So this is Bluebird's Princess. So I've done an arm and maybe a few little twirly bits in the hair, maybe finished off down there a little bit. I'm not quite sure where she was up to. I just love all the beads. <laughs> One second. Okay, I'm back. So, this is Bluebeard's Princess by Mirabilia, obviously. Uh, this fabric is Flotsam and Jetsam 32 Count Even Weave by Chromatic Alchemy. Yeah, so the arm, very much the arm, and maybe twirl bits in the hair, like I said. I absolutely love it. Um, it is one of my favourite things. But I'm getting really puffed because every time I think, oh my god, I've got all that one-to-one -one skin. I'm beginning to think I should not have just started with the one-to-one -one skin at all. I should have literally just done two over two. But it's done and I can't do it. So I might um, start with a border because it comes with a little border. And then there's like um, seahorses down the bottom there. And then like a sea... Dude teaching you maths seahorses kind of down the bottom there with like a big border all the way around and like a little crown thing there so i'm thinking i might have to do like an hour of one and then an hour of the other uh hour of skin hour of like around the outsides and stuff just to keep my sanity mainly so yeah that is that oh oh, oh dropping things right i have a, um a new start oh no Shall I show my new style? I'll show my new style. This is Gypsy Queen by Mirabilia, obviously. You have to get new things to show you, but you're like sick of what what Cherie's doing. Oh, another Mirabilia. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> so yeah, so that is Gypsy Queen. Started it a little bit. Um, this fabric is just perfect for it. Dude, dude, they don't want to learn maths. They already know maths. You're going to sit nicely. <laughs> so, yes, fabric. Mm -hmm. You can see that fabric. There we go. It's like blues and greens and stuff. And any kind of thing. Blues and greens on that. Let me try and get the light on it. There we go. It just shows up really well, really nicely, and especially we see that like green column, it just kind of pops it out and it looks really nice. I went on Fabric Viewer, um, where you can match them like patterns and charts and things like that for loads of designers and loads of fabric suppliers and things. So I always go on there, in fact, I love it. That to me is like a great night in, is matching up my fabric and my patterns. <laughs> I'm really, really bad, but I love it. <laughs> Um, so, yes, I have that. That little bit there is essentially halfway down, just there, where a little sash is. So just some greens, some, uh, some purples, and I've got onto the brown, and I really don't like stitching brown. I think it's a bit boring, but that's me. Um, yes, the fabric, sorry, really nice. It is 28 count. And it is called Peacock from Crafty Kitten. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it's kind of like, I love it. Bluey, greeny, lagoony. But yeah, really nice. So that is Gypsy Queen. My new little start there that I had. 
Um, yeah, let me fold her up a little bit. I don't know why, I just dumped all the rest, but there we go. Folded her up and... Da, 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 da. Renaissance Mermaid! Round two, because I did a little bit of all the trestles. Love the trestles. And yeah, did the skin two over two. It was two, I think the fabric was too low account. And if, and my stitches, I don't think, think they're a bit loose. So she had like loose skin. Mermaid should not have loose skin. It was not a nice look. Um, so <laughs> yeah, we've redone it. Restarted her. There we go. Two over two on the skin. If you can see her. I'm trying to get my hands sorted. Let me get the little thing off. So this is essentially um, that bit there down that side. And that there is booby. So she's kind of like booby. <laughs> so she's. <laughs> is how I laugh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so that's all that side kind of thing. Um, little spaces there are where the beads are going to go because I'm in a cue snap. Dude, go on, do your numbers. Go do your numbers. Because um, I'm on a cue snap and not on a kind of frame, I haven't done any beading, mainly because I don't want to bead and then put the cue snap on top of the fabric and snap a bead and then have to redo it. So, yeah, we're going to do all of it and then we'll bead after for this one. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Um, I did this one mainly at the Mirabilia Retreat and it was nice. Really nice. Um, we did have a disagreement on our table. Is it Krennic or Krynic? I would say Krennic, but a few others said Krynic. I always felt like Krynic. I don't know, it's felt wrong. Krynic! <laughs> so yes, that is her. Um, what else? Done the head, done all of those, done the Gypsy Queen, done my peacock. I think that is all I've stitched on this month. Um, next month I am planning on doing Zinnia, um, if you guys have seen before, I'm doing the, the pink Zinnia, which is like the, the lovely lady with the pink dress and then like the green fairy wings and then she's got like a little flower that goes over her head with the Zinnia. In fact, Mike, can you put up a picture of Zinnia please that I'm stitching? Bing! So people know. That would be Zinnia. Um, so I'm going to stitch her, finish her. I might do the peacock and get a, a sneaky little finish in there maybe because it really does not look like there's that much to stitch. Yeah, so there's like one, two, three, four, four of the big feathers and then some of the little ones. So yeah, I might get a finish out of her and it'd be so lovely. So really glad I chose to stitch. You know sometimes you think and you see projects and you're just like you like to stitch them and you're stitching them and you're like mm, this isn't as you know fulfilling as I would have thought and then you get some and you're just like yes I knew you would be good to stitch and I knew it would be good to stitch and it is. So I would definitely recommend stitching them. Um, I'm going to do Strike a Balance which is the one that by Stitch Rovia. It is actually on her Etsy site I'll do a link to that. Um, Mike, if you can put up a picture, please. I think we put up a picture from the last video as well. So, because I said how awesome it was and I was going to start it. So, I am going to start it. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. There's a picture. Bing. Mm, lots of bings. Thanks, Mike. Um, yeah, so there's that. What else have I got? Renaissance Mermaid. Oh, yes. Really enjoying this. So, um, I'm going to work up and do a skin two over two retain my sanity and yeah get some of the hair stitches trestles going on for her so i'm gonna do that so that is the stitching sydney strike balance renaissance mermaid maybe finish off peacock maybe um and maybe bluebirds if i can half and half skin and border so haul bear in mind this is six weeks don't judge me <laughs> No judging. So we have, um, right, from the Yorkshire retreat, 
I've got this one here. This is Bluebell and Revealia. She's lovely, isn't she? I really like that and I like the blue skirt. I was thinking of uh, what kind of fabric to put on her and I, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe something that kind of draws out the purple in the wings or the green in the wings or goes with the green and the blue um, or maybe just something that kind of contrasts, I don't know. Like I said, I'll go on Fabric Viewer and spend the night choosing the perfect fabric. <laughs> Geek, I know. Yes, Bluebird, so I really like her. And when I bought this from Sparklies, Kate Sparklies, she sells charts as well as fabrics. Uh, this is Ink Circles. There we go. Because someone convinced me that in May there will be a Sal from the Stitches group. Um, I'll try and find out some more information actually because I need it anyway. Um, but yeah, so there's a few of us that are like, oh yeah, we'll do that pattern. And it looks nice. It looks nice. I'm choosing a fabric for it. Yeah, I quite like that. It's called Dark Shards. She really said that. Dark Shards by Ink Circles. So, yeah, I like it. I'm not sure where the colour's from. Oh, it's DMC colours. That's okay. But I might have put in like, um, let me get it out of the thing so you can see. So I might put in um, some variegated threads or something. We'll see keep like the black outline Let me get it out of the pocket so you can see yeah keep like the black outline and then uh yeah variegate some of the or maybe change some of the colors get a different color scheme going on i don't know mix it up keep it fresh i like that word fresh what else i bought this one this was, I saw Aileen on my table stitching it and I was like, oh my god, I love it. So this is by Nora Corbett and this is Electra. I'm not keen on the wings. I don't know why. I don't like the wings so much. So I might change them or I did see a, someone um, knock them off. So she was just, is she a fairy or a pixie? She's a pixie, but which in pixie series from Nora Corbett. So that is her. So maybe knock the wings off or something. I'm not sure. But I was trying to find a fabric for her and I completely, I'm completely stuck because I don't know what to do it on. I don't really want to do it on something that is bright orange that kind of brings that out because I'm very, I like bright colours but too much over phase me a little bit. Um, but I don't really want something that's dark that you can't see the dark of the black and stuff so hmm, gonna have to play around with that one I think but that is that um so yes I have the charm uh I think I got that from Kate when I was at Mirabilia and I have the thread pack and the beads on order from Zarina at Hawking Hobbies so that's gonna be a good day when they come yay um what else do we have oh uh, I also have this that I bought from Kate Sparkley's it's some fabric. It was her Fabric of the Month special for November 2017. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can see this. Can we? Let's get something on in the background. There we go. We'll use that. There's a bit of contrast for the light. Can you see that? It's purples and green and blues and lighter maybe some bits of white in there it's a really bad light to kind of show you guys i'm trying to get a good picture of it yeah there we go you can see that can't you purpley stuff pinky white, uh, whitey you get the picture nice fabric and that is even weave 32 count and it is mirabilia size so i can do something mirabilia-esque on there um, I was thinking the blue, the bluebell, but I think the the blue and the blue will um, not be enough contrast. So, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, what else? Here we go. This, you know, people when you go to repeats and things, people sell from their stash. Well, I was lucky enough to grab this one. Um, this is Tree of Hope. Hang on a second, let me get it out. Yes, Tree of Hope by Nora Corbett. There we go, there we go. 
So you know, Mike in the background has got his video on. He's probably washing up or something. He always has it on when he washes up. Um, yeah, so there we go. Lovely tree with a lovely little uh, bird in there. Flowers. A little bee as well. So back to that. Four or fiver. Bargain. Happy with that one. Um, I picked up a lovely purple fabric from Pole Stitches that someone was selling. Um, this is 28 count Joblin, so it's an even weave. Lovely light purple lilac fabric. £10. Bargain. Um, and this Pole Stitches Bewitched. I'm getting this out to show you because I think this is hilarious. You know, people say I won it in the raffle. I won it in the raffle. I did win it in the raffle. <laughs> so I thought that was lovely. Get your hand out my top. Thank you. <laughs> monkey. What are you? <laughs> Cheeky monkey. No, dude, no. <laughs> and you got this one. This was £10 from someone's stash. It's an under, -sea, under the sea fabrics. It's kind of yellow at the bottom, but I absolutely adore the top. I love it. It's called Jewel, and it is on Opal Cashel, 28 count. But you guys know I've got a thing against stitching against linen, so I was like, ah, oh, I should have recognised that it was linen, but on the bit that I saw, it didn't look like it, and then I found some slubs when I looked it closer. Damn. But... I absolutely love that, so I might kind of brave the fact that I'm stitching on linen and hopefully it might turn out all right. We'll see. Because <laughs> I just absolutely love it. You see how beautiful that is? Just gorgeous. And I think the opal really makes it extra special. So I love it. Dude, quiet. Quiet. So that is all the stash we've got. I did, uh, when I was at the retreats, it was like um, a blind raffle kind of thing. So you kind of go and you choose a prize and things if you're lucky enough with your numbers. And I was. I got this one. It's a kit. It says, I'm fluffy. And it says, I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. With the fluffy sheep. <laughs> so that is on Ada. And that was a, a kit. And I got this one. It's a counted cross stitch. Have you still a one? And that's called In Disgrace. Oh, so she's kind of against a corner. Um, these I really, this is not really my style. But, um, I absolutely love this, but um, I love all the other stitching that I've got as well. And I'm like, I won't stitch it or get around to stitching it really. Um, so we'll give them away because I'm not going to stitch them. So hopefully some of you guys might like them. Um, so we'll have a giveaway. Yay! Um, it's open international. I'm fine posting internationally. It's not a problem. Um, I'll do two. We'll get Mike to draw it on the next one just so it's kind of fair and things. So there's the fluffy one and then there's the Ucilla one. Um, so we'll do two draws. Uh, if you want to be entered, um, if you leave a comment, um, if you can... If you leave a comment, we'll enter you. But just for fun, a little extra bonus question. Tell me how mermaids have babies. I can't figure that out. Cannot figure that out. Is it like an egg thing? Because they don't seem to have like woman bits, except for, for the top bits. I don't know how they do it. It's like, mm, how do they do that? So anyway, so if you have theories, I want to know the theories. Obviously, don't be like real explicit. But just a general theory, you know, that'll work. Um, so, yeah, but if you leave a comment, if you want to be left out of one of them or just go in the prize for one of them, you feel free to say that. That's fine. But, um, but yeah, giveaway. Yay! Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that at the next video. Um, hopefully in a couple of weeks and I won't keep you guys waiting too long. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll give those away. Uh, joke. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> oh, I love it. Are you okay? Have you got a joke? I have got. Okay. I've come got... on, come on, and come on. I Bring got... your chair around, and you can tell a joke. I got.
two jokes to ask you. Okay, come on, tell us the jokes. Where are you going? Trace? Yes. Close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Is that the funny joke? Yes, that's the last that joke. Hands. That's the last joke. Have you not got any talking jokes rather than throwing things at people jokes? <laughs> Have you got a talking joke? Yay! Oh, that's my little unicorn. Yay! Do you want to show them? Eden, come and show the camera. We're in my craft room taking a picture. Show them the present Auntie Laura got me. Are you going to shake it up? That's it, look. Look, sparkles. And it's like a little unicorn. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Okay, that's all the jokes oh I've got. Back to school on Tuesday. Yay! You gonna say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later.